Today we will be having a look at the integration between LDRA's TB Manager and Cameo Teamwork Cloud. To begin, let's take a look at Cameo. We've created two custom stereotypes. These stereotypes will be helpful matching fields in Cameo with those in TB Manager. The require LDRA requirement extends the requirement stereotype by adding two fields, requirement type and LDRA verification. Requirement type can be used to import default requirement types such as system, high level, or low level. LDRA verification will be populated by TB Manager with the verification status as tests are completed successfully. The test case stereotype extends the test case activity by adding three fields, test type, verification, and LDRA test case file. The LDRA verification behaves much like it does for requirements. The test type helps to identify TB Manager defined test types, such as code review or unit test, and LDRA TCF records a test case file that defines an LDRA TB run unit test. Multiple levels of requirements have been created within our project. You can see that we have requirement types defined for each and the verification status is set to not verified. We've also created several unit tests, such as this example. We've defined it here as a unit test and its verification type is not verified. And there's also currently no TCF associated with this test. Let's now see how we can utilize these items within a TB Manager project. The TB Manager project has been pre-populated with example source code and a set of LDRA TCF files that describe unit tests for this code. We've created two groups to contain our requirements and our test cases that we will import from Cameo. Let's first look at our requirements group and how we can import requirements. So we will select to import from the Teamwork Cloud. First, we configure our connection to Teamwork Cloud by providing server and authentication details. A connection test will verify the settings are correct. Next, we load and select the project to import from. This includes a revision number. Generally, it's best to select the latest revision of the project. Multiple methods are provided to identify the items to import packages, stereotypes, or item types. We can simply select our custom stereotype, but more complex filters can be created if necessary. TB Manager tracks traceability using requirement or test case numbers. To properly reflect traceability from Cameo, integration searches for the owner of an object and finds a corresponding traceability field. In this case, we have selected the ID attribute of those objects. Lastly, we'll click load items and the filter will be used to populate our view. Next, we'll configure the mapping of Cameo attributes to TB Manager attributes. We can see the link column has been generated from those traceability fields on import and it's already been set to our traceability in TB Manager. The text field has been set to the requirement body field in TB Manager. The name field has been set to the requirements name field. And the ID field will be used for requirements number. We will also manually set the verif LDRA verification field to the requirement status in TB Manager and the requirement type field to the requirement types in TB Manager. It may be helpful to import custom attributes into their own field. Revision, for example, we can create a custom attribute in TB Manager to hold the revision number. Once those mappings are completed, we can choose to import. A review screen will be shown where we can verify the data to be implemented. And then finally, our requirements are added to our project. The process for importing test cases is very similar. Select our connection, load our projects, and build our filter, this time selecting LDRA test case and loading our items. 
Now we will want to extend our attribute mapping by setting our name to our requirement ID, mapping LDRA TCF to TCF type, the test type to TCI type, and finally the verification to the TCI status. We now can verify that we're importing five test cases and can see the result of that import here four unit tests and a code review, as well as reflected in the traceability. Now let's run some tests to generate verification results. First, we'll map a TCF to one of our unit test artifacts. We can see that mapping showing up here for associated source, as well as the TCF field. Then we can come and regress our tests that have associated TCFs this will utilize LDRA's TB run tool to execute our unit tests. Now that our tests have finished executing, we can see our verification statuses have been updated, as well as our indicator on the icon. And that verification status has migrated its way up the traceability tree to the requirements that they're directly associated with. Now we want to export this information back to Cameo. Let's start with our requirements. Verify which requirements you want to export back. You can do all of them or pick a subset. We would like to select which attributes should be updated from TB Manager back into Cameo. So here we will select verification and export. With the export completed, we can see that it was successful. And we repeat for test cases. Here, selecting to update the TCF field as well as the verification field. Returning to Cameo, we can see that the local project has not been updated yet, so we can update from the server and see our verification status for requirements as well as test cases and our TCF data has made it into our Teamwork Cloud and then our local project. It is recommended that you always be working from the latest revision. So after doing a push or if changes have been made to the Teamwork Cloud Server project to go and re-import to get the latest version of your requirements and test cases. Thank you for your interest. If you'd like any more information, you can contact us at info at LDRA.com. Visit LDRA.com for further details or visit any of our social media.